What's going on, everyone? We've got a little bit something different today, <laughs> as you can see on the screen. And what's interesting about this one is who it came from. It came from my buddy Cliff up in Alaska. And it came in a Pelican case full of multi-thousand dollar knives and watches. A Grand Seiko, a Tudor, GMT, some Peter Martin, some Corey Martin, full custom knives. And this CRKT uh, Dactyl. <laughs> you know, we collect what we collect. I love this knife. I think it's super interesting. I am into kind of different looking knives, right? I've got a Vandermeulen Double Homicide, which is kind of polarizing and unique. And I've got the Red Horse Knife Works Hellraiser, a couple of these customs and some productions. And again, these are not mainstream knife shapes and designs. So I appreciate this goofy little guy right here. So I didn't go through and measure all the specs and all that good stuff because this is really a knife that uh, that you got to go searching for if you want. And I don't know that going through the specs on this is really worthwhile, but it's super cool. It has a little carabiner here that kind of actually opens all the way. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Um, which is also a bottle opener, coincidentally enough. So there is no there is no sheath. There is no pocket clip. You actually carry it this way on your belt loop or on your keys or on your backpack or however you want to carry it. But this is one of the options. Now, you can just clip it on and it will spring back at some level here but you can push it all the way down and then it will stay open until you want it to close back up. Okay. You've got kind of this bent steel frame around it, which acts as the handle and the protection, the sheath so that you cannot get in there and cut yourself with the open blade. The logging mechanism or the opening mechanism is very odd as well. You have this little tab here and it takes a minute to figure out how to do it. And I did that during the unboxing. Um, but basically you pull it out or push it in. So when it's in, it's locked. The blade's not going anywhere. When you pull it out, now you have the ability to push down and it basically springs open the, um, the frame. And then you can just twist it because the frame is held in between these two points here. And now it's open. And now you can't lock, I mean, you can then lock it again. So it will stay closed because here you're going to push it down and then rotate it in again. It's just cool. Like, I don't know. I'm into weird stuff. The non-unique knives, mechanisms, opening, closing mechanisms are intriguing to me. Um, these are older. These are discontinued. You can maybe find some online, but nothing fancy other than the mechanism. It's like 420C, I think is what this one's made out of. I don't know for sure. Um, but it's very unique and interesting. And as you swing it around, it will just snap back into place based on, you know, just the spring tension of this frame. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's neat to see a guy who collects thousands of dollars worth of knives he actually has a custom Hellraiser he bought for me as well that might be coming back home at some point because I'm weak. I am so weak. When somebody offers me a Hellraiser or sends me a link to a Hellraiser, I, it, it's a struggle for me to not buy it. 
Here it is next to Spider Codelica. So it's a little bit shorter than that. Um, it's just such a cool knife. I, I don't know what to tell you. How about next to the North Arms Skaha? Next to a triple A Olight. And since I pulled the uh, double homicide out earlier, give that to you as well. Cool little CRKT. I love it. Um, I think it's just cool and unique. It's something that I wouldn't carry. Um, I don't know that I would own it at this point. I've kind of evolved in my collecting and I should talk about that on some video. But I think it's cool and unique. So let me know down below. What are your thoughts on, on this guy and on unique, unusual knives to begin with? Because I think we all like them. It's kind of like the red-headed right stepchild we don't want to talk about sometimes. These things that we like, but we don't want everybody to know maybe. I don't know. Let me know down below. I would appreciate it. And Cliff, um, thanks again for this one. It's awesome. Very cool to check it out.